Yo, what's going on, everybody? Today we're making G Fuel popsicles. I got this really cool contraption. Very excited about it because we're actually going to be using one of the newest flavors, Ice Shatter, for this nice little video. I'm very excited. Why? Because Ice Shatter is one of my favorite flavors. And it's only really good if you like soak it up with ice. You gotta make it pretty cold. So a cold popsicle. You know what I mean? We're good. I think this is exciting. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. We might have to do this a couple times. I think it's better if you use boiling water because if you didn't know, if you boil the water or if it's hot water, it tends to make the G Fuel dissolve a lot better compared to cold water. If you've never had G Fuel, when you get to the bottom of the cup after that powder sits for a little bit, it's just kind of get just a mouthful of powder. It's kind of disgusting. So that's why a lot of people like to boil it, but it takes a lot longer to make. I'm just using room temperature water. We're going to see how that goes. If I have to redo this and use hot water, we're going to see trial and error. You know, I'm teaching you guys how to make G Fuel popsicles. If that means showcasing my failures, and here we go. I'm going to start off by getting a nice one scoop. Put it all in there. Put my little divider in there. All right. Gonna mix it up really good. Okay. We're gonna do this for actually a full two minutes. That way the powder dissolves a little better. Okay. I think we're good. Gonna try to quickly pour this in here and hopefully no powder like sprinkles to the bottom and then the bottom of this is all terrible. So. Oh boy. I don't know. Oh god. Oh no, it's spilling. I think you leave a little bit, right? I don't know. I've never done this before. I've never made popsicles before! Whoa, okay, okay, I think we're good. Besides me spilling it all over my mat. It's okay. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm gonna start with this one. Also, I have no space in my freezer, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Looking forward to it. That one's just floating. That's not good. I need a pepper towel. I'm going to put these in the freezer for like three hours and then I'll hopefully be back and hopefully my house didn't catch on fire. So. We have popsicles. Dude, I'm so excited. I have never made popsicles before in my life. I always get like the store-bought ones, so this is exciting. Should you like run these under warm water? Oh god. What do you do to pull these out? I'm gonna run these under warm water. I don't know what to do. Alright. I ran them under warm water. Hopefully this pops out a little bit easier. We're gonna go with this one right here. Oh. Well, that was easy. We have a popsicle! <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. I froze these overnight, so I almost did nearly 24 hours. I know you only need like six to eight, but this looks fantastic. Oh. So, what I've learned already, the powder sinked all the way to the bottom. So, next time we do this, or if you try this at home, make sure to use boiling water. That way the powder completely dissolves. It's not bad. It's actually really good, but that powder kind of slaps you in the face a little bit. That's solid. I like it! Dude, like, I would highly recommend that anybody does this. It's simple. If you have your favorite flavor, make them into a popsicle. I haven't had breakfast yet. This should not be my breakfast. But it might be my breakfast. I rate these a solid 10 out of 10. I like them. I would say the only critique I have is the powder, but we can go over the steps if you want to do this. Make sure you use boiling water. Throw the G Fuel powder in there. Shake it up a little bit. Actually, a lot of bit. Make sure it, like, fully dissolves. If you want to test that, just, like, put it on your desk in the shaker cup. Leave it there for, like, 20 minutes. And then 
flip the cup over, make sure there's no powder at the bottom. Because if you use cold water, you will notice that if you leave it on your desk for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you flip it over, there's going to be powder at the bottom. So if you want to fix that, use boiling water, you won't have the problem I have. Other than that, they look great. I wouldn't even put them in for 24 hours. I put them in for about 20. That's really excessive. I just didn't really have time to record this portion of the video. So I left it in there for a lot longer. I like this. If you guys have a different suggestion that you guys want me to do, I don't know, a G Fuel baking video, cooking video. I don't know what you guys want me to put G Fuel in, but I'm willing to try it. So if you guys have some suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And you know what? We're going to cheers with a popsicle. So if you have some G Fuel, some water, whatever you have laying around that is uh, that hydrates you, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!